Um, thank you very much. I think that's a very, that's a very pregnant and very important question. That um, we broke away and we broke the chains of colonialism in, Ken in, uh, in, in our continent. And uh, we broke the chains of uh, colonialism because they were imposed on us without our will, without our wish. They were undemocratic. They were not participatory. They were against the majority will of the people of our continents. Whether it is the Portuguese here or the British in uh, Portuguese in in, uh, in Mozambique or the British in Kenya, these were wills that were imposed on our people without their consent. Our position is that undemocratic, unconstitutional imposition of the will of any government of whatever nature on the people without their consent is wrong the same way colonialism was wrong. And that can, uh, Africa can only proceed into the future if we allow the people of our countries and of our continent to determine their destiny and to choose their leaders in democratic means, using democratic means. The way you do here in Mozambique and the way we do in Kenya and the way it, it is done in many parts of our continent. And therefore, as a union in the Africa Union, we are against any undemocratic removal of any government. Coups are not a panacea, they are not a solution to the challenges that we have as a continent. They are as undemocratic as the colonial masters. And we are taking a very firm position as uh, uh, nations, as the African Union. Um, any undemocratic removal of any government immediately earns the expulsion from the Africa Union. They cease to be members of the Africa Union. And as I said, uh, ECOWAS, which is part of the building blocks of the Africa Union, is handling the case, for example, in Niger. IGAD is handling the case in Sudan because uh, we believe that we should be able to provide a solution as leaders in this continent uh, on, on matters that concern all our countries. Uh, we are all informed that today there is a meeting of ECOWAS, for example, to deliberate on the coup in Niger. Our position is that President Bazoum should be reinstated as the democratically elected president of Niger. And uh, whatever uh, interventions ECOWAS will agree on will have the support of those of us in the Africa Union so that we can put a stop to the slide to undemocratic government in our continent.